Jalen, you guys almost beat Alabama last year in Tuscaloosa. Can you talk about coming up just short in that game and if that performance gave you guys any confidence as you head into 2022? Uh, most definitely. Um, for me, I wasn't there for sure with the team, but, you know, I was watching, you know, I, before I, mean, I text the guys, hey, ball out, do your thing. But just seeing them play and um, seeing, you know, Basically, everybody's shocked, you know, but the only people that weren't shocked for us, you know, I think we were ready for that game. I mean, you know, we came in, you know, knowing that we could win that game. You know, we came up short, but I'll say definitely that, that proved the show. Like, okay, we can, you know, like I said, if we line up against somebody and we play our brand of football, you know, we can compete against anybody. Front row here. Okay. Uh, good morning, AP Stedham, WHEP, Foley, Alabama. Uh, Jalen, how do you guard someone with speed versus someone who's physical? Uh, I think that just depend. That just goes back to you know your technique and your tendencies and what you look at, and just knowing the player. You know, knowing you know, okay, what is he good at when it comes to his routes, and what is he not? You know, that comes from field study, and so that's why I, I diagnose and look at and say, okay, he's good at this, but you know, he's not so much used in this. So I think if you diagnose those tendencies and stuff, I think you can kind of break that down um, to the notch. Go to your right, third row, Jalen Tyler Shaw with KBTX and College Station. You know, after taking such a big leap forward last year as a team, do you feel like it's going to be any more difficult to keep up that sustained success going forward? Uh, I think I don't think so because I think our habits align the same way. You know, we didn't look at last year and we just kind of, you know, say, okay, we're satisfied. No, we were hungry to be even better. So, I mean, I felt like we went even harder. We said we got to go even harder because, you know, we don't want to repeat last year. You know, we want to be better. Um, like I said, last year was a great year, but I always say to the team, last year was last year, you know. It's 2022 now, so it's a new year. Everybody's looking to, you know, start off right and, you know, try to make it to the top, you know, just like how we are. So I say we got to attack every single day and just get 1% better. And then we do that. I mean, we can progress off last year. To your left in the back row. Dan Peck, ESPN 106.7. What can you tell us about Barry Odom? It seems like his former players rave about uh, as a coach and a player, uh, what, what kind of guy he is, as a, as a a coach and a person, what kind of guy he is. What, what can you tell us about your defense coordinator? I mean, um, I say it all the time, and I, I'll continue to say it to the day I die. Um, he's consistent. I mean, every single day, I mean, he comes in. What you see is what you're going to get. I mean, he comes in ready to work. I mean, it doesn't even matter what day it is. It doesn't matter if it's a walkthrough day. I mean, it's got to be your best walkthrough. It's going to be a high-tense walkthrough because that's how he's going to coach. And he's very, I mean, he's a player's coach, you know, just like P Coach Pittman is. I mean, Coach Ohm's a player's coach. I mean, every single day he's making sure the guys have everything they need, um, making sure they're on time for stuff, making sure that, you know, just talking to us, not even about football, just about life. And that's something that I always respect about him, that he's not just going to talk to you about football and X's and O's. He's going to talk to you about family and how's, you know, the outside life, you know, what do you do for your free time? You know, he always wants to engage and get to know you. And so I always respect that. And, you know, that goes down from him. You know, and I mean, his family's the same way, me and his family. I mean, they just love, you know, they love it, the players, and they just want to make sure we have everything we need. So um, that's my coach. You know, like I said, I love that guy. Still left side, front row. Hey, Jalen, Jacques Doucet, WAFB-TV in Baton Rouge. Uh, did you find any humor in the fact it looked like you two guys, LSU and Arkansas, traded defensive backs, like you got two and they got two, uh, you know, in the, in the whole process? Uh, and what, do you, what can you tell us about Fauche and, and Brooks, uh, who are going to LSU? Um, obviously, those are, uh, those are my guys. I mean, I, I went to war with them for sure. And um, like I said, I'm, I've t I still talk to them, you know, here and there just to check up on them. But, I mean, they're, from not, they're great players. And, you know, like I said, I mean, LSU's lucky to have them because they're um, really good players. They did great things at Arkansas. And when you look at the transfers that we have now with Brini and Dwight McLaughlin, I mean, those guys are making plays too. So um, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, I don't really try to compare the two. I would just say that, okay, those two, are really good players, and you know they made you know went to back to went to LSU, you know, and that's respect to them. And it's all love from us, you know. We talk to each other every day, and then we're just glad to have Brini and Dwight because they're really good players for us. And they've done really good things from the spring, and I feel like they're going to do great things for the season as well. Second row to the left, uh, Johnny Condon, ABC thirty three forty in Birmingham. Just wanted to ask you about your quarterback a little bit. We were just talking to KJ, and sometimes on the broadcast, people kind of compare his skill set to Cam Newton when he was at Auburn. Can you tell me if you think that's an apt comparison? And just what's he like in the locker room? What's it like to go up against him in practice every day? Uh, yeah, no, KJ. I mean, I've seen the comparison. Yeah, Cam Newton for sure. I mean, body type, the way he plays. But you know, I think. If you ask KJ and, you know, me talking with KJ, you know, KJ definitely models his game after him. But 
at the end of the day, you know, KJ wants to be KJ when it's all said and done. He wants to say, you know, I did it, you know, my own way, you know, for sure. But KJ's a team player, you know. KJ's always, you know, want to make sure he's he's right himself so he can be right for us. You know, he's always holding everybody accountable in workouts um, when we do um, skills and drills and stuff like that. So um, he's a he's a great quarterback, great leader, and like I said, I, you know, that's my quarterback. You have a question in the third row. Go ahead. Right there. Go ahead and ask your question. Yeah. Um, from that game, like I guess I agree with KJ. I think it was humbling. You know, I think we, we I gave hats off to George. I mean, they were a really good team. I mean, they had a lot of great players. You know, like I said, you said you saw a lot of players went pro from that team. So um, they were just, you know, I think at that point we just looked at it and we just said, okay, um, that's the level we want to be at. You know, we want to be a dominant football team like that. You know, definitely we went in thinking that we could win for sure. But of course, that wasn't the outcome. But we looked at that game and we said, okay, now we just got to get better off that game. And so we definitely look at that as a humbling experience for us. Front row again. Uh, what did the, uh, the way you won the LSU game last year, right? You intercept the pass in overtime. And uh, what did that win mean for you guys? And what does, uh, it seems like every time LSU goes to Arkansas, the people there talk about this is our biggest home game of the year. It means a lot to boot. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, most definitely, you know, I got family down from Louisiana as well, so you know, it's a it's a it's a it's a game for me too. You know, it's personal for me as well. But I mean, I think I think we look at it and say it doesn't matter what game it is, whether it's LSU or whether it's Ole Miss, Georgia, Bama. I mean, every game. I mean, we want it's going to be a battle. You know, we got to go play. So I think every single game we look at, we're going to say, you know, it's personal for us for sure. So, like I said, I mean, LSU that's a you know personal game for a lot of some folks who are from LSU or from Louisiana for sure. So. Um, it's going to be another exciting game, and, you know, I'm excited for it. To your right, third row. How big of a game was when you guys beat Texas A&M last year, you know, snapping that nine-game losing streak, and then just how much are you looking forward to playing them again this year? Uh, that was definitely, I mean, it was a great feeling for us, you know, finally snapping that losing on the streak against them and finally coming out on top, you know. But I always look at, like I said, when it comes to uh, our mindset, I mean, that was last year. I know they're coming hungry to – you know, be back on top on us. And I know we're trying to, you know, keep that going. So, like I said, I think the game is going to be another, you know, four-quarter game, and we, just, we have to come out on top. You know, we're going to have to go back to our off-season training of, you know, just paying attention to the details and, you know, like I said, just having a blue chip and keeping that going. So it's going to be an exciting game for sure once again. We'll go to the back row again. How important is breaking the streak against Auburn? The last couple of uh, years, th those games have been fairly unusual, and they've been very competitive, but they've gone – Auburn's ways. Is that a goal for the team this year to, to, to finally get over that, uh, that hill and, and, and beat Auburn? Uh, I would say, I mean, I look at it and say every single game we come in, you know, we're, of course we're trying to win. So I'm the, I don't think really looking at records or streaks or saying, okay, okay, it's like a losing streak or we have a winning streak, let's keep it going. No, we're just, every single day we're trying to be, one, every single week we're trying to be 1 0. So whoever's in front of us, we're just trying to be 1 0. So that's who we're going to focus on and that's who we're going to go at it. So. Uh, as far as I know right now, you know, our focus is going to fall camp as healthy as possible and just getting better every single day. And then when that time, you know, time comes, you know, for September 3rd, we're going to focus on Cincinnati. Do we have a final question? Okay, here we go. You were talking about Barry Odom earlier. Just the importance of having a coordinator now, I think it's three straight years learning under him. How much does consistency go into uh, performance on the field for you? Uh, I think, I mean, it impacts everything for sure because if you look at a guy and the guy is, you know, talking to you and he's consistent in his word and his actions, I mean, how can you not want to go play for that guy? And I, I mean, I, I'm up here speaking, but I mean, I think I can speak for everybody on the defense and even the, everybody on the team that, I mean, he comes in juiced up. I mean, every single day, you know, he's, every single day is his goal is for us to be the best defense on that field. And he said, if you're not trying to be that, then you can't play on our defense. You know, you got to have that mindset every single day. So. We attack it like that every single day to make sure everybody's, you know, on their P's and Q's and make sure everybody knows what they're doing. So when that time comes where the ball's out in the, between the white lines, you know, we're just relentless 
and we just play um, to the Partners standard. at Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest odds, news, and sports developments, including this year's Wimbledon Finals, Major League Baseball, the latest fighting news, and even next season's early NFL futures. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BLEAV. That's BLEAV. AV to get the bonus and get into the action. Bet online where the game starts.